Hi, I'm Scott with Archery360. Today, we're going over target bow terminology, specifically compound target bows. So what I have in front of me here is a pretty typical target bow setup. That doesn't mean you have to set your bow up just like this. And it also doesn't mean if you have a bow that doesn't have all these fancy accessories, you can't go out and enjoy target competition. There's divisions for just about every uh, type of equipment out there. Just talk with your archery coach or your local archery shop to see where uh, your equipment puts you for a division. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this entire bow from top to bottom. So starting up here, this is kind of what makes a compound bow a compound bow. Uh, you have the cam. Now the cam is uh, what gives compound bows that the let off where you're pulling, let's say you're pulling 60 pounds and then after a certain point, you're only holding about 12 pounds depending on the cam design. And the cams are connected to the limbs right here at the axle. This whole big metal section here is the riser. The riser is connected to the limbs here at the limb pocket and that's where you'll find your limb bolt. And the limb bolt is how uh, you or your archer shop can adjust the draw weight on a compound bow by uh, turning this limb bolt in or out. Continuing down on our riser here, we have a sight. So what makes target sights unique from uh, some other sights is their adjustability. You can make very precise click adjustments here to get your bow dialed in just right. And you can also do very large adjustments for different distances. Attached to the sight, you have a scope. And most target archers will have a lens in their scope, uh, which magnifies the target. A popular magnification is a uh, four power. So right here, we have your cable guard, which holds these are your cables and this is your bowstring. And so what the cable guard does is it pulls the cables out of the way of the bowstring. Then we have our arrow rest. The arrow rest job is to hold the arrow and guide it during the shot. Uh, this one happens to be a drop away, uh, but target archers also use a fixed blade style arrow rest. We're gonna jump across here back to the bowstring. So again, here you have your bowstring and these are your cables. So on the bowstring itself, there's a D-loop here and your arrow would go right in between that D-loop and then your release aid clips on to the D-loop here. Going up from there, you have a peep sight. Your peep sight is what you'll look through at full draw. Here we have an accessory that gets Probably the most questions, it's the stabilizer. So this bow has a front stabilizer and a rear stabilizer. And you'll notice uh, that on the end of both stabilizers, there's weights. Each archer will customize their weights based on their own shot to get the bow to balance right. And that's really the, the job of the stabilizers, is to balance the bow and to improve the aim and then the last accessory here is the bow stand. These just clip on. Uh, they come in different styles and stuff, but they're really great for holding your bow while you go to get your arrows. So there you have it, all the accessories on a typical target compound bow. If you want to get into competitive archery or upgrade the accessories on your current bow, visit your local archery shop They'll go over the different options and give you some great advice on how to get started. To find an archery shop near you, you can go to archery360.com.